In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. My dear friends, as we begin our celebration, we first acknowledge our sins, our shortcomings, our infidelities, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. So all together we say, I, I confess, confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in, in my words, in what, what I have done, done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy. Let us pray. Today, we also celebrate the memorial of St. Boniface, Bishop and Martyr. May the martyr St. Boniface be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood and confidently profess it by our deeds through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Tobit. Tobit called his son Tobiah and said to, hi to him, Son, see to it that you give what is due to the man who made the journey with you. Give him a bonus too. So he called Raphael and said, Take as your wages half of all that you have brought back and go in peace. Raphael called the two men aside privately and said to them, Thank God. Give him the praise and the glory before all the living. Acknowledge the many good things he has done for you by blessing and extolling his name in song. Honor and proclaim God's deeds, and do not be slack in praising him. A king's secret it is prudent to keep, but the works of God are to be declared and made known. Praise them with due honor, do good and evil will not find its way to you. Prayer and fasting are good, but better than either is almsgiving accompanied by righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than abundance with wickedness. It is better to give alms than to store up gold, for almsgiving saves one from death, and expiates every sin. Those who regularly give alms shall enjoy a full life, but those habitually guilty of sin are their own worst enemies. I will now tell you the whole truth. I will conceal nothing at all from you. I have already said to you, a king's secret it is prudent to keep, but the works of God are to be made known with due honor. I can now tell you that when you, Tobit and Sarah prayed, it was I who presented and read the record of your prayer before the glory of the Lord. And I did the same thing when you used to bury the dead when you did not hesitate to get up and leave your dinner in order to go and bury the dead. 
I was sent to put you to the test. At the same time, however, God commissioned me to heal you and your daughter-in-law, Sarah. I am Raphael, one of the seven angels who enter and serve before the glory of the Lord. So now, get up from the ground and praise God. Behold, I am about to ascend to him who sent me. Write down all these things that have happened to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be God who lives forever. Blessed be God who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld. And he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed be God who lives forever. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. Blessed be God who lives forever. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed be God who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones, and may all of you praise his majesty. Celebrate days of gladness and give him praise. Blessed be God who lives forever. Please stand. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like, who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and, as a pretext, recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd would put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury. For they have all contributed from their surplus. But she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The month of May, here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, ay uh, yung tinatawag po namin na panahon ng pagsa-celebrate ng Misa de Gracia. And Misa de Gracia is a practice here in the province of Pangasinan, in the nearby provinces, ng pasasalamat sa isang ani, di ba? yung month of May. sa celebration of Thanksgiving, for a bountiful harvest, or for any harvest for that matter. Kaya ang ginagawa po sa buwan ng Mayo, yung mga paro-parokya dito sa Pangasinan ay nagpapaschedule ng Misa, uh, and then together with their parishioners would come here and then celebrate the Mass together as a community. Na-COVID yun last year, but this year, naituloy na rin po. 
Pero paunti-unti, pero naituloy pa rin po. I remember the Misa de Gracia because of the gospel that we read today. Because 10 years ago, when I was first assigned here in this place, I remember one Misa de Gracia, I was also saying Mass, and then I was there in the altar at nung, pana, nung, nung time na ng, uh, ng offering, I, dyan sa side na yan, there was an old lady at nung tumapat sa kanya yung kolekta, she put her hand dito sa loob at may binunot at nung may binunot, dahan-dahang binuksan at nakatupi yung kanyang yung yung nasa loob nung binuksan niyang uh, handkerchief na yon and then sabay hulog doon sa kolekta. No second thoughts. Alam ko po kung ano yon sapagkat uh, medyo mapula o orange so it's either 20 o 50. At ingat na ingat siya sa pagbubukas and then no second thoughts she put it there doon sa kolekta. Eh no, ang tagal na ng panahon na dumaan noon but every time that I would read this gospel, that particular image would always come into my mind. It's, it was a teaching moment for me. At least for two things. Una, parang pinapahiwatig sa atin sa akin ng Panginoon mga panahon na yon, that when people would give, would donate, and people are generous when they come here, I would have to see to it that the money, the donations that people would come would, would give here in this place should be put to a judicious use, to good use. Ibig sabihin, ingatan at ilagay at gastusin sa tamang paraan. Ngayon yung isang pumasok sa utak ko po noon. Pangalawa, that particular moment was a teaching moment kung paano maging generous. No? Uh, because the old lady, the moment that she untied yung handkerchief na yon, yung mga matatanda, di ba? Ganun po yung taguan ng kanilang mga pera dati no? sa handkerchief, binabalot at saka tawag nito, itinatago dito. No? And then, the moment that she put yung pera na yon doon sa kolekta, she went back to her prayers. And again, that was something very important because when after giving, it's as if it's nothing. She went back to her prayers. For me, at that moment, that was a symbol of how to be generous. You give, and then you forget. Sometimes when we give, we often do not forget the moment that we have given. Kaya nga minsan may mga sama pa ng loob. Pagkatapos mong pautangin, ganito pa. Pagkatapos mong bigyan, ganun pa babalik sa'yo. No? You know, but at that moment, again, it was a reminder of how it is that the Lord was asking us on how to give. Give and then forget because the one who will remember is the Lord. When we give out of our own hearts, it has to be that way. We go back to what we are doing. We go back to our prayers. But this is the assurance. The God who sees the generosity of your heart, not the amount, but the generosity of your heart, will be the one who will repay us double, triple, a hundredfold in His ways. And dear friends, in the Gospel that we read today, we again encounter the widow who gave not from her surplus, but from her want, everything that she has. When we give, it's not always monetary. It can be time for our brothers and sisters who are looking for somebody just to listen. So it can be a listening ear or simply an assurance that you are not there alone going through the difficulties of life. Hindi ka nag-iisa. Sometimes generosity can even just be a tap in the shoulder and just a simple assurance na 
andito kami. Those are forms of generosity. Or kapag ka merong nahihirapan sa buhay, just to be there. Sometimes yun lang yung generosity na hinihiling po sa atin. A dear friends, when we encounter the widow's might, it also reminds us that nobody is so poor, nobody is so rich, that he doesn't need anything, and nobody is so poor that he or she could not give anything at all. We all have our own gifts, our talents that the Lord has given us, and therefore we all have a capacity to be generous. The widow in the gospel is a reminder to all of us of our capacity to give. But at the same time, the widow in the gospel is a reminder to all of us and an assurance to all of us that the God who sees the generous heart will be the same God who cannot be outdone in generosity. Bakit kayo pumunta dito? First Saturday, kaya marami-rami yung andi dito sa Minor Basilica. Di ba may mga hinihiling? Di ba may mga idinudulog? Di ba may mga hinihingi? You have come to the right place. But at the same time, Mary, who will definitely intercede for your prayers, is also asking you, are you also generous enough? And I think that is a question that is being posed to us, not only by Mary, but also in the Gospel that we read today. Kindly all stand. We have one Father in heaven and one teacher, his only Son, that has come to our Father praying for all his children on earth. Let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that those ordained to the sacred ministry may be faithful and sincere to their commitments to God and to the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in public office may offer their best in serving the people rather than their selfish interest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the humility of Christ may pierce the pride and pretense of people who think highly of themselves. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may receive divine revelation in all its living power as God's message and that merely as human thinking. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find their peace in the risen Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for their well-being, for their good health, for their safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray, continue to pray for the frontliners and this fight against this pandemic in this COVID-19, that the Lord may continue to strengthen them and inspire them and provide them with more grace to sustain them in the, in the work that they are doing for the people. We also pray for the leaders of the church and of our civil society, of our government, that the Lord may continue to enlighten them and strengthen them as well as they govern us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we pause for a while in silence. You may now offer your personal intentions. God and Father of all peoples, we bring before you the needs of those who know you and those who have never heard your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Please be seated.
pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace may we be set afire and that flame of your love through which Saint Boniface overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Boniface poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness to Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Boniface, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Before I give the final blessing, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Mayno Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. At higit sa lahat, maraming salamat sa pakikiisa ninyo sa banal na misa. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass ascended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks be to God. Let us now say the prayer for the blessing ng mga may sakit dito. Kaya ang mga nasa bahay, inyong mga kaibigan at relatives, we include them in our prayers. And this is to be followed by the prayer for the blessing of your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, freedom from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, we now bless them. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.